Today, Susie and I have a special guest, Jonathan Chowdhury, founder of Poster Booking. Jonathan is going to show you how easy it is to run videos you create and poster my wall as digital signage using Poster Booking. But first, let us know who's here and where you're from. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Susie is in the San Francisco Bay Area. And Jonathan is in, as I said before, the UK, which is uh, very exciting. And um, you know, it's evening for him. So we're especially happy that he made time for us. So if you have a store or a restaurant or an office, you may be considering digital signage. It's a great way to display your menu and specials, share news with your customers, promote specials and special events. But you may not want to make a big invest investment, especially right at the beginning. And that's where poster booking is a great solution. Poster booking is a fast, easy, and free way to publish content and videos you create on Poster My Wall to any display monitor. It's perfect for anyone who is looking for a simple to implement lightweight solution. And it's free, that's right, free for anyone using 10 or fewer screens. All you need is an Amazon Fire Stick. Before Jonathan shows us just how easy it is to set up and run, Susie, who is with us today? So um, we've got Tammy from New Jersey, Catherine from Wales. Um, we've got uh, Jay from Cleveland. Um, lots and lo oh, excellent. So good to see you all with us. All right, thank you everybody. Uh, we're glad you're here. And if you have questions for Genital or for Post My Wall, please do put them in the comments. Um, we, have, we have somebody new with us here today. We have Audrey from Post My Wall's customer service department. And so she will be watching the chat. And if there's something that we can't answer right away, we will get back to you in the next 24 hours. And as always, this video is going to stay on our Facebook page and we'll post it to our Post My Wall blog and our YouTube channel. So you will be able to come back and watch whenever you'd like. So let's get started. Welcome to Janetal. So Janetal, tell us what is poster booking? Uh, so poster booking um, is an app that makes it really easy to display images, videos, and other content on a TV using an Amazon Fire Stick, which you can control from any computer or even your smartphone. Awesome. And, and what kinds of applications or companies do you think poster booking is a good solution for? Yeah, so it's used by cafes and restaurants to display their menus on digital screens. It's used by businesses to display their um, digital signage um, posters, um, their websites and catalog. It's even used by um, airports to display their, um, to gather customer feedback from um, using smiley buttons. Oh yeah, I see those smiley, when, when I used to be in the, air, in the airport, it's been a long time, I remember there were a lot of those smiley buttons. So when you use poster booking, is there any hardware required? Yes, there is. So all you need is an Amazon Fire Stick, um, a screen. You could use a TV or an Android device um, and a Wi-Fi connection. Um, if you don't have access to an Amazon Fire Stick, you can always use our web player through any browser. And how would somebody get started using poster booking? So in order to get started with poster booking, um, you'll need to sign up uh, on posterbooking.com. So if I just share my screen. Okay, I unshared, so it's all yours. So head over to the posterbooking.com website and on the right-hand corner, you'll see create account button. Click that and you should be able to register. Enter your first name, last name, email address and password and create your account. Once you've done that, you'll receive a verification email um, to verify your email address and then you should be able to log in. So I'm gonna just login so the first page you'll see is a dashboard um, this is a place where you'll see an overview of everything from the total active screens um, to the number of daily impressions by screen what you'll also see is a the language drop down uh, we currently have seven different languages to choose from if your preferred language isn't there then let us know in the comment section Awesome. And then what's next? How do you set up your Fire Stick? Yeah, so first of all, you need to stick the Fire Stick into the HDMI port of your TV, connect it to a power outlet and turn the TV on. What I'll do now is show you on my TV how you can uh, get started. So stop sharing. So here's my TV. You can search using the uh, voice command. Poster booking digital signage. 
So once you found the app, downloaded it and installed it, what you'll see is an eight character code. So this is a code you'll use to connect your TV to the poster booking dashboard. So heading back over to the poster booking dashboard, share my screen again. On the left-hand panel, you'll see the screens button here. So you'll need to add your screen by clicking the add screen button, enter your code and give it a name and hit the add screen button. Once you've done that, um, the screen is now connected to your TV. Oh, wow, that was that was fast and easy. So once you're set up, how do you add the content? Yeah, so the next step will be to add the content um, on the left hand side. Again, you will see the content and you should be able to click images videos. Here's a few I've added earlier. And you'll see the upload image video button here. So if you click that, you should be able to select all the images and videos that you want. Once your images and videos have been uploaded, the next step is to create your playlist. So a playlist is like a folder where you can store all your images, videos, um, and assign it to your screen. So I'm gonna create a playlist now, give it a name, and add to playlist. And once you've added your playlist, the next step is to add your content. So you can choose from images, videos, questions um, from our global library and also the app store. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the image that I just added now. There you go. So that's the image that I just added now. Okay, and how would you transfer um, images and videos and content that you created in Poster My Wall? Yeah, so um, we've recently um, created an integration with Post to My Wall, which allows you to transfer um, images that you create, uh, videos, and publish it directly onto your screen. So if you click Post to My Wall, it should take you directly to your Post to My Wall account. Uh, I'm going to edit this one that I've recently created. So once it's loaded and you've made all your changes um, and it's ready to go, what you can do is click the publish button here, select digital signage, click on poster booking, and now it'll ask you to connect with poster booking. So if it's your first time, um, you'll need to log in with the email and password to authorize the connection. Um, and if it's not, what you'll see is a list of your playlists. So select your playlist and click publish to post booking. So what that's doing now is generating your video for you and uh, publishing it onto the post booking playlist. So if I refresh this page now, I should be able to see the video that I just uploaded. So there you go, there's the video. And the next step um, will be to display on the screen. So before I do that, what you can do is rearrange the order by dragging and dropping here. And I'll just unshare my screen. And click Add to Screen, select Living Room, and click Save. So once I hit Save, you should see instantly it'll update the screen and display the video. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, so as you can see, it only takes uh, a matter of seconds to display uh, the video on the screen. Um, if you wanna make changes to your um, video, say you wanna change um, the background music or update the text, what you can do is simply delete the current video by hovering over it and pressing the delete icon. And uh, once you've done that, you can go back to post to my wall, uh, make, make your changes and publish it back onto the um, playlist. Okay, so there's also a possibility um, where you'll be doing this whole thing um, remotely. And in that case, if you are doing it remotely, what you can do is um, view your screen and see what's exactly playing on your screen.
Um, and also, if you wanted something to play for longer, what you can do is um, go back to your playlist, um, click the edit duration button, which allows you to change um, the time you want something to play for, um, change the duration and click set duration. And that should automatically update um, the screen for you. What you can also do is um, schedule playlists to display different content. Say you have a cafe with um, a breakfast menu and a lunch menu. What you can do is click edit playlist and schedule your playlist by giving a start date. You can leave the end date empty if you want it to run forever. Update the time and click apply. You can also set the days that you want it to display for and click schedule. So what that will do now is display the content only for them days. What you can also do is, if you go to profile, you can set a time zone. So based on where you are, you can set the time zone and click save, and you should be able to save uh, that time zone and display that playlist for that time. So one of our other cool features that we have is um, smiley questions. So what you can do with that is um, if, you, if you have a, say, a bar, um, a restaurant, even an airport or a hotel, you can gather customer feedback using these smiley icons. So what you do is create a question, give it a name, enter your question. And you'll see on the right hand corner, um, it'll update um, in real time. What you can also do is show a timer. So based on uh, the length of um, the question that you want to display, it will show on the top right hand corner of how long you want it to display for. You can also set a background image and a logo like this and click save. And you should be able to select that when you add a uh, playlist content. So if, if you have um, a, a portrait screen and you wanted to rotate the screen, what you can do is click on edit and select from the screen rotation. So if you want, you can click 90 degrees, hit update, and you should see your screen updating to 90 degrees. So lastly, one of the other things that I wanted to show you guys is the reports. So at post booking, what we have is um, impressions, uh, total number of impressions um, per content. You can also have a drill down of these contents. If you click into it, you can see the total number of impressions per screen. Um, if you have uh, that content displaying on multiple screens, um, you can see all the um, screens that it's displaying here. Nice. So that's all from me. Um, I'll nice. pass it back to you now, Lisa. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Um, I mean, I just, I just, the thing that I can't believe is that this is free if you have 10 or fewer screens. I mean, that is really awesome. So Audrey is going to share a link in the chat to the poster booking website. And Susie, do we have any questions? Unmuting myself. Um, we did have uh, one question from Catherine wanting to know how she could do this with her festival. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yeah, so um, you can set up your screen um, for a festival and um, just sign up um, to post a booking, download the app. You can use an Amazon Fire Stick or an Android device um, and use it um, for, uh, for free um, for anything under 10 screens. So if she were to set it up for a festival, would, she have to, would all the screens have to be displaying the same thing or could she set up all the screens or some of the screens differently so that she could be running different content, different places? Yeah, absolutely. So you can do the whole thing remotely. Um, all you need is different screens um, and you'll need to enter your screen code um, like this. So I have one for living room, one for websites, uh, one for the garage and one for reception. Um, and once you've done that, you can create separate playlists for them. Like here and um, you should be good to go. OK, anything else, Susie? Um, so there was a question from Nicola, and I don't know if we can answer this today, and if we can't, we could do a follow-up, but she was wondering if there, uh, if um, John Till could demonstrate how to set up without a fire stick. 
Okay, we're not gonna be able to demonstrate that today. Um, Jonathan, do you have, can you either add instructions to the chat or do you have something on your website we could link to? Um, there's some YouTube tutorials that I've done uh, recently. Um, maybe she can have a look at that, um, which shows uh, me uh, demonstrating it on an Android device. Okay, well, Jonathan, if you can- you... I'll post the link, I'll post yeah. the link uh, on the chat. Yeah, if you post that link on the chat, that would be great, okay? Absolutely. And then we had a question come in just now from Abner, um, wanting to know in what players run in offline mode? Yeah, so um, all the players run in offline mode. Um, so the Amazon Fire Stick, Android devices, um, but the screens, our web player um, does it run in offline mode. So you'll need an internet uh, connection to view the screens through there. Great. All right, so if anybody has any additional questions, please do add them to the comments. We will be checking back and Jonathan will look at the comments too. Um, and if there's anything that he can answer for you, he will. Uh, so we'll be looking back over the next 24 hours and please do share this video with any other marketers or business owners who might benefit from using poster booking or poster my wall. As usual, let me share my screen again. As usual, we have an offer, but let me line that up a little better. For anybody who was with us today, 30% off on a new Poster My Wall premium or premium plus subscription, or th also 30% off with this, uh, with this code if you'd like to upgrade from premium to premium plus. Our next class is going to be a design coffee break. We're gonna look at the dynamic shapes, uploading your own custom fonts and organizing your work in folders. And in the 15 minutes it takes you to finish a cup of coffee, we will teach you how to creatively apply cool shapes to your designs. Again, upload your own custom fonts and use them on your Poster My Wall designs and to organize your stuff in my stuff in folders and subfolders. So we hope to see everybody then. That's it for today. Thank you, Jonathan. And thank you everybody for joining us. Have a great day and we'll see you again soon. Cheers, Lisa. Thank you for having me. Thank you.